Okay, so today we'll be tweaking AMD's cool and quiet settings. Uh, and for those of you who don't know what that is, it's basically a power saving feature that all modern CPUs use in some form or another. Um, the program we're going to use is called K10STAT and only works for AMD brand processors. <clears throat> this is a really useful program if you know how to use it. Uh, so today we'll just be tweaking the voltage levels for the different P states. And a P state, which probably stands for a power state, is a fixed state uh, which the processor goes to depending on how much load it's currently under. So uh, let's have a look. So here it is. Um, and what Cool and Quiet actually does is that it lowers the multiplier of the CPU and sets the voltages accordingly. So, like I've said earlier, we'll be lowering the voltages. And uh, the nice part about that is that the manufacturer always sets the voltage higher than it really needs to be. An important note, though, is that all processors are different, even the ones of the same model. So uh, I recommend just trying one step at a time. So these are the values I use, um, with an overclock at 3.0 GHz. It, I know it says 2.6, but uh, for some reason this program can't show if you overclocked it or not. Um, but uh, if we look at the standard values, we can see that it's quite a difference still from th the voltage levels used at 2.6 GHz. And um, this is the CPU voltage, and this is the North Bridge voltage. So if you compare, this is what I use at 3 GHz. And these are the standard values. So it's a difference. Um, let's open up CPU. Let's see. So here we can see uh, this is the lowest P state. Okay, now it jumped up, but wait a second, and it will go down again. There we go. Multiplier set at four, and it jumps between four, seven, and nine point five and uh, thirteen, which equals these states. So if we look at the lowest state, mm, let's wait for it to drop down again. Come on, there we go. 0 0.96 volts. Um, we can see it's not exactly what I what I've specified. Um, I don't know exactly what that depends or why it's that way, um, but it definitely makes a difference. So if I turn it up again to one volt we'll see that yeah it goes up and if we set it back down we can see that it will okay yeah it dropped down again um so why do this some of you might ask uh, well it simply makes your processor run cooler and more efficiently and that's a good thing okay uh, so you found working voltage levels for all of your P states uh, and I might add uh, that the number of P states differs between processors um, but if you haven't found or even tried check out the link below uh, to try to find your CPU or just doing some reading on the subject. Okay, so I've got my settings here. Uh, and what do I do now? Uh, well, I can start off by making a shortcut um, to the desktop. Properties. And what you want to write here in the target box is the following. Uh, load P state and no window. Click OK. So, um, what happens when you click it now? Nothing, it would seem. Um, but what actually happens is that uh, the voltage that you've set is uh, loaded into the system without really starting the program. OK, you think. What now? Well, you simply drag it to the all programs to the startup folder 
Um, as you can see, I'll, I already have mine there. So back you go. What this does is that uh, every time you start up your computer, the values are automatically loaded. But uh, before you do this, I have to add that use safe values, use values that you know work. Um, but uh, other than that, good luck. Features for the event, average or non-average, may or not affect your hardware because of use or non-use of programming. Examples: FX, CPU, include non-lock, physical operation, better efficiency, and greater wealth. Your records, trigger, 